Everything that extends your life yeah. has to do with keeping a lighter weight. Okay. You okay. are very likely to live longer than most people okay. because of, okay. of being slightly, for in your words, underweight. Right. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with putting on a little bit of extra muscle if you want to be stronger for whatever reason. Yeah. But when you get past a certain point, it does shorten your life. There's right. no question right. about it because it's like mm -hmm. a second puberty. Yeah. Right. And the fastest rate of aging that you will ever go through at any stage mm -hmm. is puberty. You know, I think it, no matter who you are, it's probably not a good idea to be really large. It's actually any large animal lives less long mm. than the smaller version of that same animal. Okay. So in the animal kingdom, little animals like honeybees survive. And, and, and well, and hummingbirds and honeybees, they have short life compared to like whales. Sure. sure. But within in a species, like you yeah. look at dogs, uh -huh. Great Danes have a short life, yeah. Yeah. a little Shih Tzu or whatever that, I, no disrespect yeah. Yeah. to the Shih Tzu, <laughs> but you know, and the yeah. Shih Tzus, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> Shih Tzu. I think that is the yeah. current <laughs> pronunciation. Know. They have a uh, much longer life. Ah. And it's because of the dosing of this one gene called insulin growth factor. Okay. So uh, Andre the Giant died young. Mm. Uh, people that have acromegaly, you know, the forehead yes. ridge and the huge Big. hands, they don't live very long because mm -hmm. all their organs are huge. And they're make, they have to produce a lot of yeah. stuff to keep the body running. Yeah. Right? People ask me this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. Like, what do I do? How do I sleep better? How do I stop stressing? And usually I find that people are not serious meaning they want an answer, but they don't want to do the work. Right. Yeah. right. So I was like, look, it's really simple. Can you not eat until 2 PM? Mm. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm like, great. Drink coffee, drink water. And in the morning, get up and just get on either run or get on some exercise bike and just pedal like someone's chasing you with a syringe full of poison. And so there's a pretty straightforward formula where when you've been asleep all night, your fuel reserves, like you've got fuel in your fat, you guys don't have any of that, but you got fuel in your fat, you've got fuel in your muscles that can be mm -hmm. burned and you've got fuel in your liver, it's called glycogen. And mm -hmm. when you wake up early, all of that is as low as it's gonna be because you haven't been eating anything. Got you. And so if you exercise then, your body starts dropping into your body fat storage quicker. So what I was trying to give Mike was a tool that would allow him to see some results really quickly. So I said, look, do it fasted mm -hmm. and then continue to hydrate and then eat your first meal in the afternoon. And I said, and also, you know, do you like drinking? And he was like, well, I don't know. I drink mostly because it kind of sets me straight up here. And I was like, well, we can talk about the stuff to kind of set your head level. I mean, he wasn't spun out. He just obviously was medicating with alcohol. Sure. And not in a severe way, because he's fully fun. He's an amazing photographer, yeah. raised two kids. Yeah. And so I sure, want to be sure. clear about what we're talking about here. Yeah. I didn't detect anything dysfunctional about him. He was just reporting to me that he wanted some assistance. Right. So I said, you know, would you be willing to drop the drinking or, you know, pair it back? Yeah. And he said, sure. So, okay. So explain that. And I said, look, and you know, here's my number just for the anxiety and stress management. I'll give you some breathing, some respiration tools that work really well mm -hmm. that are not, you know, woo mysticism. <laughs> it's not, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you to meditate 30 minutes a day, although that's a cool practice too. Mm -hmm. I'm going <laughs> to give you some tools you can use in real time as you're working hard and okay. dealing with whatever it is you're dealing with in life. Okay. So that ends, the conversation ends. And then a year later, Mike reaches out and says, Hey man, thanks for all that stuff you gave me. I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, I've lost 60 pounds and I <laughs> haven't had a sip of alcohol since we talked last wow. and feeling pretty good. Damn. And I was like, so how did you do it? He's like, well, I get on the bike and I pedal as hard as I can. And like someone chasing me with a <laughs> syringe full of poison. Sure, sure. And, uh, I was like, he remembered. Yeah. You know, and I was so impressed. Like very few people can just take the menu and just do it. Go. Right? Right. And maybe it's his Midwest upbringing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did get gifted a... AK rifle for his ninth birthday, living in Ohio Jeez. growing up. I mean, Mike's, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But some people yeah. also, I feel like, reach that point in their life where they're like, it's time. This yeah. is, a, right. whether it's smoking yeah. or drinking, like they, you can't quit smoking unless you're mentally prepared to, right? It's like that switch. Look, I always say the beauty of being young is that neuroplasticity, your nervous system's ability to change mm -hmm. in response to experience, to learn things, mm -hmm. is at its absolute peak. However, you don't have that much control over your life when you're young, right? especially when you're really young. As you get older, it gets harder to change your nervous system, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. But the advantage you have is that you can direct exactly what changes you want to happen. Mm. And so there are two different ways to change your nervous system, depending on whether or not you're younger or you're older. And it's not like the gate drops right at 25. Okay. It just tapers off. But Mike made the decision. And I always say, if somebody is an adult, you can't change their mind. Right. You literally can't. They have to make the decision to do that. And he flipped the switch. He flipped it. He flipped it and he's still there. And um, I think he feels much better. 